Hello everyone. So let's solve one more problem from differential equation. So as you can see, this question is of the format dy by dx equals to a one x plus b one y plus c one divided by a two x plus b two y plus c two. So when you have this type of problem, there are two categories to it. In first case, we have a one by a two equal to b one by b two. In this case, uh, something will come common in both numerator and denominator, and you have to let that common part as t and proceed, and it will then reduce to. Variable separable, which you all know how to solve. The second category is of a one by a two not being equal to b one by b two. So in that case, we take again a substitution, and after that, it reduces to homogeneous, and homogeneous further reduces to variable separable. Okay, so let's check. Uh, This question belongs to either case one or two. So, if you take a one by a two, which is the ratio of coefficient of x, so that is one by minus one, that is minus one. If you take b one by b two, which is the ratio of coefficients of y, that will give out come out to be one. So clearly, a one by a two is not equal to b one by b two. That means we have to move to category two. Now, in second category, how to solve? first step is always to take small x as capital x plus h small y as capital y plus k now because we are change shifting from x to capital x we have to uh, change everything in terms of that so if you differentiate this you will get dx equals to dx Because derivative of uh, h is zero, and similarly dy equals to dy. We have just differentiated both sides. Now, if you take the ratio, then dy by dx will be equal to d capital y by d capital x. Now, if you come back to the initial thing, then you can write d capital y by dx in place of this, and y plus x. What is your y? Y is your Capital Y plus K plus X. X is your capital X plus H. What is the constant thing? That is minus two divided by Y minus X. Y is Y plus K minus X is X. Uh, X is capital X plus H, and we have a minus four. Now next step will be to collect the constant term. So dy by dx equals to Y plus x plus h plus k minus two divided by uh, y plus y minus x plus k minus h minus four. So we have collected the constant term. What's next? So it's uh, known to you that. If you will take this, make this bracket zero, then you will be left with this part. And if you look at this part, this is completely homogeneous, and that's what our aim is to convert this to homogeneous. So we will choose such value of h and k for which this brackets become zero. So we have to solve this simultaneous equation, which is h plus k minus two equals to zero, and minus h plus k. Minus four equals to zero. If you add simply h and h will get cancelled. You will get two k minus six equals to zero, or k equals to three. If you put k equals to three in first equation, h plus three minus two equals to zero, h plus one equals to zero, or h equals to minus. So h equals to minus one, k equals to three. Keep these values in your pocket. We will use it at the end. Now. Once you substitute these values in the this equation, the equation now converts to d capital y by d capital x equals to 
y plus x divided by y minus x. Why? Because this will become zero on putting these values. Now it's uh, uh, homogeneous. We have reduced this to homogeneous. What you have to do? Y equals to v x. If you differentiate with respect to capital X, so dy by dx equals to product rule. V as it is, derivative of x is one plus x as it is, derivative of v is dv by dx. Now put this in place of dy by dx. So v plus x dv by dx equals to. Now y equals to v x. So v x plus x divided by v x minus x. As you can see, x will get cancelled from both numerator and denominator. Now, once you will solve uh, five to ten questions, uh, even three to four question, you will uh, have confidence in each and every step, and your calculation will become faster. Now, x uh, sorry, v plus x dv by dx equals to if you cancel x, you will get v plus one divided by v minus one. I can take this capital V to other other side, so you will get x dv by dx equals to v plus one divided by v minus one minus of v. X dv by dx equals to v plus one minus v square plus of v divided by v minus one. So if you want to simplify, x dv by dx will be equal to Uh, minus if you take uh, common, so minus of v square plus two v is there. You minus you have taken common, so minus two v plus one is there. Minus you have taken common, so minus one divided by v minus. One. What I am going to do next is separate variables, keeping this minus side in RHS only. So I will get v minus one divided by v square minus two v minus one. Okay. Equals to minus of dx by x and dv comes here. Integrate both side. Now, if you uh, see carefully, if you take this denominator as t, so derivative what will come? Let's see. So, if I take v square minus two v minus one as t, so if you differentiate two v minus two. dv equals to dt or if two if you take common and send to that side so v minus 1 dv equals to dt that simple uh, sorry equals to half dt now your integral converts to in numerator we had v minus 1 dv so that will be replaced by half dt and denominator is completely t equals to rhs integration of dx by x simply ln x And uh, we have got integration of dx by x, which is simply ln x with a minus sign, but so minus of ln x, capital X of course, plus constant, uh, because as you can see here also log is coming here also log, so better take this as ln c. Now uh, this will be half integration of dt by t is ln t. T was your v square minus two v minus one. uh okay now take this ln x also to this side so plus ln x equals to ln c now as usual if you have to form apply the formula of log a plus log b then take this to the power so this is ln uh v square minus 2v minus 1 power half plus ln x equals to ln c now uh power half means root so ln Uh, under root of now v is y by x, so y square by x square minus two y by x minus one plus ln x equals to ln c. Now if I take LCM, it will be ln y square minus two x y uh, minus x square divided by x square plus ln x equals to ln c. Now I can I can take this x square out. It will come out as one by x. So one by x inside I will get y square minus two x y a minus x square plus ln x equals to ln c. 
now log a plus log b is log ab so 1 by x into x that will get cancelled and you will get 1 from there and this will remain as it is so log a plus log b when you apply the formula you will get uh, simply ln under root y square minus 2xy minus x square equals to ln c now you can remove uh, log here also but wait again i am writing this root as power half so y square minus 2xy minus x square power half equals to ln c fine now I am taking this half to the front. So this becomes uh, half ln y square minus 2xy minus x square equals to ln c. Now I take this 2 to the right hand side. So I will get ln y square minus 2xy minus x square equals to 2 ln c. Now I take this 2 to the power. So I will get ln equals to ln c square now i can remove log from both sides so y square minus 2xy minus x square equals to c square now you can assume c square as any other constant let's say a now what was our capital y and what was our capital x so coming to this equation small x equals to capital x plus h h is minus 1 small y equals to capital y plus k k is 3 from here capital X you are getting is x plus 1 uh, okay and capital Y you are getting as y minus 3 so x plus 1 and y minus 3 so y uh, sorry y minus 3 whole square minus 2 capital X is small x plus 1 capital Y is y minus 3 minus uh, capital X is x plus 1 whole square equals to a this is your final answer y minus 3 whole square minus 2 times x plus 1 y minus 3 minus x plus 1 whole square equals to a so I hope you understood the question again uh, this was similar to question I solved previously whenever you see the question in rough just or in mind just imagine this two situation the, your question will always lie in either of the situation just check by this and follow the steps small x as capital X plus H small y as capital Y plus K just simple steps uh, once it will reduce to homogeneous homogeneous will further re reduce to variable separable and at the end you have to play with logs and basic mathematics to get to your final answer okay so I hope you understood this question thanks and have a very very nice day